And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Hey guys, Ham Radio Concepts with another video for my channel. And uh, today I have the MFJ434B. This is the MFJ voice keyer. This thing is cool. In fact, um, I, if you haven't seen or you should see my other videos I made the last couple of weeks of uh, when I was operating portable, um, it was a special event station day. So I was constantly, you know, throwing CQ and, and QRZ out in the microphone. Well, if you're a contester, this would be right up your alley because this records any message you play or you, you record into it five different banks. Now, on my video, I was using the internal uh, audio recorder, which is 10 seconds, on my Yaesu FT450. And there's no uh, way to, unless I go into the menu and re record the message, I can't change my message. So I can basically use it only for calling CQ and such. So this, um, it, it, you, you have 75 seconds of combined time between the five buttons. Uh, 32 seconds for the first button, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and then 13 seconds. So basically, uh, we'll go through this in a second and show you um, just what you would use it for. You have two mic plugs on the front. One is a round 8-pin mic, and one is a modular 8-pin mic port. And I have wherever it went, here it is. I have um, a couple different cables here. This is the MFJ5398, um, which is a eight pin round to eight pin modular. I have my uh, MD100 mic here that has, uh, I could use both, either round or eight pin modular. And basically what you would do is you could either use, you'll see the button here, internal or external mic. So here's the internal mic, okay? And I could either record right into the front of it and play it or I can use my microphone plugged into it and talk into the mic. And this doesn't, this thing is, is a ghost to your mic audio. It does not, uh, if you're using your mic, it, you're basically recording into the EEPROM on here with your mic and it's transmitting that same quality into your radio. So you're not losing quality using this. You may lose a little bit of audio quality if you're using the internal mic in the front because you're picking up more of the room and the, the chassis. Um, so using your... Heil mic or your MD100 mic into here, you're going to sound just that good into your radio without losing audio quality through this device. Um, transmit on and off so you can preview your, there's a speaker in the top, so you can preview what you sound like before you throw it on air. And um, that's pretty cool. So I can hear what messages I have and then if I like it, I can start transmitting it. Uh, the volume knob and your repeat delay. So you can delay the, or repeat this 10 times. Uh, with the button in and uh, the delay from I think it's five seconds to 500 seconds of delay so you don't have to have it going every four seconds or five seconds you can have it going every minute every two minutes throwing your call out because again it does tire you out when you don't have any takers that happened to us when I was using that video I'm telling you about when I was using that tape measure loop uh, the, right in the beginning before I got it really tuned up I was calling and calling and calling uh, and then I, I, I scored. So in, in the first 15, 20 minutes on the bicycle rim that I was using, I didn't get nothing. And uh, had I just had this thing repeating my message, it would have been a little more uh, relaxing instead of me jumping on that thing. And, and I could uh, have you know got a couple other things going while that's uh, playing. So let me show you the inside real quick. And then we'll show you. Uh, I got a couple things recorded in here. I'll show you the back. And... Uh, Here's the back here. So you have audio out, which can go to uh, several different devices or uh, interface or speaker. Your ground, your power in. This requires not a lot of power. Uh, in fact, I'll show you inside. You can run this on a 9-volt battery. It doesn't. It's not recommended because it's going to draw that battery real quick. But in, in a pinch, you could use that 9-volt battery in there for a little while. Uh, I don't know how long. Output level control should be set from the manufacturer um, you know, at a decent level. Should you need to up the output, you can just use a flat blade screwdriver right there. Audio in, in case you're using a sound card device from your computer or such to go in and out for your uh, recordings. Um, remote, 
I won't get into that, but you can tap into this for several different things for a remote uh, uh, computer access for using a remote to keep it out of the way. Um, but yeah, you can use that for, there's, it says in the manual that you can uh, use that for computer uh, access for PC. To radio mic, so there's another uh, radio mic, you know, input here and then output to the radio mic. So the patch cable that I have in the box somewhere right here that I don't have, oh here it is. Right there. So the MFJ 59, 5397MX is the 8 pin that goes from the back of the radio to my, or back of this device to my radio. So um, you're all covered there. So basically it, you know, you're going right through this thing in line. Um, let me show you the inside of this real quick. All right, so here's the inside of it. Uh, and what I want to show you inside is for two things. One, here is the nine volt battery uh, for the, uh, this is not for battery backup of the EEPROM. So it's for operating it on a nine volt battery should you really need to. Notice it's in this little thing out here uh, in the back because you don't want that flying around shorting on here. And it tells you right in the manual, it must be kept in there so that you don't accidentally short it, um, but the battery would slide right in the back here and hold it there, all right? Um, but here, right here, all these jumpers here are for different, I showed you the eight pin round and eight pin modular, but what if you have an ICOM and it's wired for Yesu or, you know, no problem. In the manual, it shows you what you need to do here for the PTT mic and ground and all that. So you can use a variety of different different radio manufacturers make some models with this without having to uh you know wire your own mic so it's it's a lot more convenient that way than than wiring a mic because that can be tricky so there you go uh all solid state inside you know with the uh, surface mount stuff so looks good let's check it out all right so let's turn it on i'm gonna show you here so, I've already had a couple of programmed into here just for testing, so I'll show you. Um, you'll see me using this on field day, so I might be calling CQ for a contest. I can just push button number one. CQ contest, CQ contest. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu India, CQ contest. KJ4, YZI, calling CQ and standing by. So I can play that in a repeat if I want, pushing the repeat button, and set my delay. And that'll play until someone comes back, and when someone comes back to me, and they say, oh, uh, KJ4YZI, AI46M, you're, or AI6AM, you're 5-9 uh, in the Delaware. I get push number two. You're 5-9 in the Vero Beach, Florida, grid EL97, over. You know, I can respond right back to him. Um, when he's done talking, all right, 7-3, thanks for the contact, good luck. I can tell him. Good luck, 7-3, QRZ from Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. That fast. Now, myself... I like to respond uh, to the people. There are, in fact, there's one person in particular that lives in Georgia, and I've talked to this guy on 10 meters. Him and his wife are big 10 meters pers uh, people, and I can guarantee they're either using this or they're using another one because he doesn't talk at all. And that doesn't make it really fun if you don't say anything. Everything is his call. When you respond, it's, oh, you're sounding good. Let me pass you to my wife. And then he plays hers, and then she says, okay, we'll play, uh, they, here's your contact, thanks a lot. And then he calls QRZ. So there is no interaction between you and him. You're talking to his voice keyer. That wouldn't make it fun to me. But uh, I would like to use this as a, uh, a opening and a closing. You know, that, that make, or if I'm sitting there and nobody's there or the band's dead and I'm waiting for it to wake up or it just dies out, I can just let that thing go and talk to my buddies fill up a beer or whatever I got to do, and, and then I can jump back on it, you know. But try not to let the voice keyer be your voice uh, totally 100% uh, if you get my drift. And if you want to, that's cool. But I like to talk to somebody. That's what ham radio is, talking to people, not devices. So use it to throw your call out. Use it to uh, give 5-9 reports. Uh, if that's all you do is give 5-9 reports and I'm a 5-5, well, then just push the button. <laughs> all right so if you want to record a message very simple push the record button the light will turn red you hold the button corresponding to where you want to put it 
and you say whatever you want to say into message number four, and it plays it back. All right, then push the, push the button again to play, and then push the bank. And you say whatever you want to say into message number four, and it plays it back. There you go. See? Very simple. It's a very cool piece of gear, and uh, I, you will see this in my future videos when I'm portable. Um, so, uh, oh, well, here you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate and comment below. I need a thumbs up. Check us out on Facebook.com slash Ham Radio Concepts, and make sure to subscribe, 7-3, from KJ4 YZI. I might use that at the end of my closings. 7-3. This has been another exciting amateur radio video presented by Ham Radio Concepts. Subscribe today on YouTube. Search Ham Radio Concepts, all one word.